welcome back everybody so i i just came back and got a haircut um i love how they did my hair so cute um i'm getting all right so we want to figure out how to set up your trading view account remember that's kind of what you're using to 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 understand what's what i'm seeing uh so step one let's let's do the lesson all right let's get into once you log in go back into this video and kind of go through the few steps that I show you to kind of visually have a few things going on. All right. So here goes. All right. So once you go on to your trading view online, um, again, tradingview.com and you log in, you, you do have to kind of make your own account. You can do, I would do the free account. So usually I think the stock ticker, which is going to be on your left corner is going to be Apple. All right. So I, put it on XRP right now against the US dollar. I think a lot of uh, people I know are in that. Uh, it's something interesting for me. I'm watching it. All right, so notice the screen does not look like the screen you you saw in front of you when, um, when I'm doing my trades. So first off, let's make it like funner for the eye because this is so, such a, a um, this is not just not good on focus. So if you go up to the right corner to the settings, all, right, all you want to do is change the color here, the background color. Let's just start with that. There's a lot of little tweaks we could do, but we're going to make it black and bam, look at that. Is that not a, just better right there? I think it is. All right. So XRP right now, I've got it on a daily candle. So that remember, each of these ticks represents a day. All right, and if it's red, it means that it closed lower than the day before, and if it's green, it closed higher than the day before. All right, so this is going to be the start of it. I'm just going to go. Um, I want you to get familiar with using it back and forth. All right, so um, for example, I want to give an example of XRP. How much how much money could have been made in the last few days? So when I entered Bitcoin. Um, September 30th, right? Um, I made a certain percentage up to date and I'm going to switch that up. Remember, we're going to that date, September 30th to we're on October 16th. So XRP didn't do too bad. All right. That was about if you entered correctly and, you know, if you're up to this moment, it's a 36% return. So that, that wasn't too bad of a return on XRP if you just entered it. Now, if you were holding on any one of these places, you're probably just coming up now, all right? So I'm gonna, sh if you notice, there's gonna be certain strategies I'll show you on once I place all the indicators in to show you what is, is when's is a good time to sell now? Now, if you were to buy something, when do you know to sell it before it kind of dips down? And my strategy is with crypto, you, if you resell it and then rebuy it on a lower dip, you're just getting more volume. So you're getting a bigger chunk at that point. So instead of, let's say, having 100 shares, you're going to have 130 when you rebuy. So then once it starts moving back up, you've got more shares to mess with. All right. Um, hopefully that explains a little bit. All right, I switched it over to Bitcoin and just to kind of compare was Bitcoin a better buy or was XRP a better buy? So again, I'm going to pull out that measuring tool to to uh, and find that date again. September, right? We had September to currently. Okay. So the difference was um, trailing behind, but XRP wasn't too bad, right? Now, Bitcoin now is 42 up, 42%. So that's slightly above what uh, what xrp is so kind of giving you idea of how you don't necessarily have to do a certain stock and how to see it and how to enter exit correctly to make the most money a that's what i'm about so until later bye bye